Yeah, <laughs> we're just 22 days away from the Kentucky Derby, uh, the 150th, 150th run of the Kentucky Derby. We're so excited as we gear up for the big race. The Kentucky Derby Museum has revamped its Riders Up exhibit, a favorite, of course, mm -hmm. of kids and adults alike. It's it's for everybody, including Jim, who is out there this morning. Jim, did you win? That's the big question. You, you can't come back to the newsroom if you didn't win. So. Oh, well, answered. Well, then I guess I'll just stay in my car all day, Grace. Thanks for kicking me out of the newsroom. No, I came in third. I'm joined by the winner of that race, Phil. Um, shocking. One of, the, one of the guys behind the entire project is one of the ones who ended up winning uh, this morning. But, Phil, it was a great race. I had a great time. And what's so cool, we talked a little bit about gameplay during the last segment, but when you get on these horses, it feels like you're actually riding a horse. And that's all down to the technology that you guys were able to use. Yeah, yeah, Jim. The reason why it's the most immersive experience in the world in terms of horse racing is down to the technology we've done. It's actually built on motion platform technology, which is using Formula One. Mm -hmm. The ability to move up and down and move side to side is, is inherently part of the gameplay. Um, so yeah, really proud of this technology we've, we've put into this. And there are three different settings when you get on this horse. So you can choose the level of movement that you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah, correct. There's three levels. So you've got like full motion, part motion, and no motion. So depending on how you know, immersive you want to have the experience. Yep. There we go. And obviously when you're standing out there in kind of the paddocky area, you can hear and see what's going on on the big 5K screen. But the sound quality in here, it, it really does immerse you in that kind of racing atmosphere. Yeah, there was, was a big part in terms of the actual setup of the exhibit. Um, the 5K screens is important, but yeah, spatial audio was, was a huge important to make sure we could really drive that experience. The actual commentator is Travis Stone, mm -hmm. who is the official commentator. So he's uh, kind of lend his voice for the game. So uh, we can bring him to life through the uh, screens. The more and more we hear about this, the more detail you all have put into this, the more I'm just out, uh, just astounded uh, by what has gone in to this new Riders Up exhibit. The official grand opening is happening later today at 10 o'clock out here at the Derby Museum. And then, like we've been saying, 22 days till Derby 150. So you have plenty of time to get out here and enjoy Riders Up before then. But of course, it'll be here long after that too. Grace, Eric.